Hello, my friends. I'm Daniel Talley, the Look Self Guy, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, you may be wondering, the Note to Self Guy channel. What is this channel really all about? Well, I provide positive, inspiring, entertaining content. Sometimes it's funny, and admittedly, sometimes it's a little bit corny. But I can guarantee you this, baby. Every single time, you hear me? Every single time, there's always a big message. So, what are the types of things that we talk about? Well, normally, I don't talk about current events or situations going on, going on in the world, but uh, today I'm going to make an exception. I'm going to talk about um, the fact that the coronavirus is still a pandemic. It is still impacting our world, uh, both abroad and here in the United States. And by the grace of God, you hear me? By the grace of God, we have enough vaccines in this country uh, to give everyone uh, who meets the criteria to have that vaccine. Uh, unfortunately, other countries do not have that luxury. But then the question then becomes, why is it that some people are so opposed to taking the vaccine? Why is it that people are anti-vaxxers? Well, I got news for you. I had an opportunity to have a conversation with a gentleman that was an anti-vaxxer or is an anti-vaxxer. And, uh, well, roll a tape. You can hear the conversation for yourself. Hello, my name is Harry O. Yai. I'm an anti-vaxxer. So what? Hello, Harry O. May I ask why you're an anti-vaxxer? Who are you? And why do you want to know if I'm an anti-vaxxer? I'm the note to self guy, and I love giving people food for thought. I'm always interested in knowing why people believe what they believe. Sounds like to me that you're just a nose or rascal. But that's okay. Let me explain to you why I'm an anti-vaxxer. First of all, I don't even think the coronavirus is even real. There's no proof that it is real. I don't even believe the numbers. Besides that, my friends Pookie and Ray Ray, who work with me at the chicken plant, they don't believe in the coronavirus either. Furthermore, I don't even like wearing those face masks. Why? Because they mess with my sinuses. That's right, I'm an anti-vaxxer. And another thing, we can't believe everything the government say. You remember Area 51, don't you? The alien cover-up? Are Pookie and Ray Ray virologists? You know, Harry O, you can't believe everything you read on social media or on the internet. Now, let me ask you something. If you had a car and your car had car troubles, would you take your car to a car mechanic or would you take it to the dude that cuts your hair? Of course, that's a no-brainer. I'd take it to the certified car mechanic. Now, that barber probably can give you a good faith, but what does he know about fixing a car? He ain't no car mechanic. But you know what? If you want some credible information in regards to the coronavirus, you should go to the experts. And the experts are the CDC and the FDA. Now, they should be able to tell you the real deal regarding the coronavirus. Now, with respect to the uh, Area 51 and the government cover-up, uh, you may have a point on that one. Hmm, I never thought about it that way. Follow the science. Now to the question, is COVID-19 real? Yes, sir, it is very real. According to the CDC, in the United States alone, over 43 million people have been infected by the coronavirus. And of that, over 600,000 of them have died. That's a small number of deaths considering the amount of people who have been infected, even if I were to catch the coronavirus. Chances are, I'd survive it. Yes, look at it this way. The percentages of those who die from the coronavirus is not very high. However, what if you're one of the ones who die from the coronavirus? Then those numbers become very real to you. Now, if I'm being honest, most people who contract the coronavirus or COVID-19, uh, they do recover. However, there is a large number of people who contract the virus and they do recover. However, they have lingering and problematic side effects long after that. Hmm, that's interesting. I never thought about it that way. But I have to tell you, everybody that dies from COVID don't necessarily die from COVID, you see. You see, I heard of a case where a man was driving down the street, messing around with his darn cell phone, and he ran right into a Mack truck. Now, he happened to have COVID, of course. But, of course, when they did the death certificate, they listed his death as COVID. That's a load of crap. COVID didn't kill that man. That Mack truck did. If you're enjoying this episode, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Harry O, I would suggest you go to the CDC.gov website to determine how they classify COVID deaths. And to be honest with you, hearsay is usually not very accurate. Fair enough, Dr. Self Guy, but the bottom line is this. I'm not a Democrat or a Republican or a Tea Partier. But one thing is certain, I know my rights and I don't want the government telling me what I need to put in my body. It's my body. I should be able to do whatever it is I want to do with it. I feel you, Harry O, but guess what? 
coronavirus doesn't care about your politics, nor does it care about your rights either. It simply wants to kill you. Now listen here, the only way to control the coronavirus is to control it by science. And these vaccines, the Pfizer, the Moderna, and the J&J, &J, they can limit and control this virus. That's the only way we're going to get rid of this thing. And of course, wearing your face mask, social distancing, particularly in social gatherings uh, and washing your hands, uh, is very important, especially if you don't know the vaccination status of those that are around you. I heard the sound of taking the vaccine leads to infertility in women. Let me guess, Pookie and Ray Ray again. Listen, there's no evidence of that. If you don't believe me, go to the CDC.gov website and check it out for yourself. You know, some people have died as a result of taking that vaccine. Hey, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to show me some love by hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so the next time I do a video, you'll be notified. According to the CDC, a very small number of people have died as a result of taking the J&J &J vaccine, which led to blood clots, which eventually killed the people. Unfortunately, uh, any death is tragic. But the good news is, is that millions of lives have been saved from taking the vaccines. Now, Harry O, do me a favor. Please go to the source. Go to the CDC and find out the truth. Hey, you know what yourself, guy? Which vaccine did you take? And why did you decide to take the vaccine in the first place? Aren't you the least bit interested in the long-term effects of the vaccine? I got the Moderna vaccine back in January of 2021. And I have to tell you, so far, so good. Now, I took the Moderna vaccine mainly because it was the only one available at the time. I created a couple of videos uh, where I documented from start to finish uh, my experience and my journey. Check them out if you get a chance. I have to tell you, they're pretty informative and they're kind of funny too. Now, as a Christian, I always pray before every major decision. And this one was no different. I prayed to God that he would give me peace in terms of should I take the vaccine or not. And he gave me that peace. So to the question, am I concerned about any long-term uh, effects of the vaccine? No, nah, not really. Why? Because if God gave me peace and told me it was okay for me to do it, then I feel like he got my back. So either way, I'm good. Now, in addition to that, the word tells us that we should love our brothers as we love ourselves. In other words, we're supposed to love our neighbors. And to me, uh, taking the vaccine is an extension of not only loving myself, but also showing love for my brothers and sisters out there. Now, am I being honest with you? I don't want to catch this virus, nor do I want to give it to anybody else. For me to be unvaccinated and then for me to contract the virus and then give it to someone else and then unfortunately that person dies, man, I would not want to have that on my conscience. The very least that I can do to minimize the spread of the coronavirus is to get vaccinated. I get it, Harry O. Getting the vaccine is an individual choice. But did you know that many companies out there are requiring their employees to be vaccinated as a condition of employment? Not only that, the government is now starting to require employers with 100 employees or more to have their employees vaccinated or to have their employees uh, who are not vaccinated uh, tested every week for COVID. Of course, that's going to get pretty costly, as you know. And with, uh, and with corporate America out there, it's all about the money, baby. So the question then becomes, what is your core reason as to why you don't want to take the vaccine? Hey, Harry O, I've made several entertaining and informative videos about the coronavirus. I believe they will be very helpful to you and your friends. Check them out if you get an opportunity. I will leave a link in the description page. The videos are as follows. Coronavirus Symptoms and Ways to Avoid Catching Coronavirus and the Stupid Things That People Do Why Should I Wear a Face Mask? The Coronavirus Doesn't Care About Politics Why Y'all Hating On Me Because I Got The COVID-19 Vaccine Opening the states back up. So, Harry O, will you visit the CDC and FDA websites and watch the videos? Now, let me be honest with you. Let me explain to you why the coronavirus is so personal to me. Sadly and recently, I lost a cousin due to COVID. So, COVID is very real to me. Yeah, I can do that. I'll be sharing this information with my buddies Pookie and Ray Ray. If you never want to miss another episode of Note to Self, show me some love and hit the subscribe button. And remember, 
God loves you, and he only wants to have a better relationship with you. Until next time, my brothers and sisters, peace.